Hey there, uh, my name is Mara Glazer, and I'm filming this video to share with you my experiences uh, working with Daryl Hill, who helped for me to overcome uh, a fear, a big fear that I've had for like eight to nine years that has affected the day-to-day -day quality of my life. And um, I'm excited to share my experience with you so that you can see how Daryl uh, can help you too. So uh, several times in my life, I've been uh, the victim of attack. I've been attacked several times, um, mostly by men. There was one instance where me and a friend of mine were attacked by two other women in a Dunkin' Donuts, um, but mostly by men. And uh, because of this, I uh, I developed uh these, these fears that I'm about to share with you. So my biggest fear, the fear that I told Daryl I had, but I actually had more than them, I was embarrassed to admit at the time. The fear that I told Daryl that I had was being afraid to be and sleep in houses. Um, and so you can imagine, I mean, we all have to go to sleep every night, you know, how, uh, how that would affect me every single day. Uh, but there were other fears that I had because of these instances. Also, fear of sleeping in hotel rooms, fear of sleeping in my apartment, and uh, even like anxiety being around men when it was just me and them and I didn't know who they were. So, for example, like if I'm walking down a street or like walking down a hallway in a hotel and a man like passes me, like they're going to their room, I'm going to my room. I live by a train, you can hear it, I apologize. <laughs> but you know, like I would I would get like anxiety like in, in my chest and uh and like kind of panic and, and freak out. And uh and I just like didn't want to live this way anymore. And I had actually had tried to get help for this in the past uh two times before. And uh I I went to go see two hypnotherapists and it just like didn't work for me and I was like, you know what, this isn't going to work, I'm not going to be able to get over this, and you know, I don't need to get over this for now, I can just live in an apartment for a while until I have kids down the line when I want to live in a house, and I'll just figure it out later. And um, that like didn't work well for me, you know, because I was living in fear all the time. And uh, so what happened was there, was, there was three things that happened recently that made me want to uh, have Daryl help me. So I had met Daryl a couple months ago. We had built this friendly relationship. I had told him about my fears. He told me he could help me and I didn't believe him because, you know, these, the, I tried to get help before and it didn't work. And so, so here's what happened. So one of my girlfriends had a, had a, was having like a really bad time in her life and she was house sitting at the time and she called me up and she's like Mara like I just need a friend right now can you come stay with me for the night and like I would do anything for one of my friends if I can do something for one of my friends or someone that I love like I'm, I'm gonna do it and like I just I couldn't because I it was like I I literally was having chest pains thinking about going to stay in this house with her for a night and I was like, this is insane. Like, I need to be there for my friend who's been there for me so many times before. And I, like, I can't. Like, I physically can't. And then I uh, I was on Facebook. And this video popped up of somebody that I know, that I've known for a long time, who was sharing a video just like this, sharing their testimony about how Daryl had helped them overcome their, their fear of heights. And... Because I knew him, and I know him, I know him, still know him, um, it made me start to believe, like, maybe Daryl could actually help me. And then the thing about Daryl, what I love about Daryl, and I'm so grateful that he's like this, is, like, he's so persistent, right? You know, he kept calling me, like, Mara, when are you going to come see me? When, when can I help you? And, like, come, come to my office, you know? And I live near him, so you know, that would be very easy to do. And finally, I was like, all right, I'm going to do this because this was really, like, really a problem. You know, I shared with you how it kept me from being able to help a friend in a time of need, but like, there's, there's other ways that this was a big problem. So one, every night before bed, I would literally get this like tight feeling in my chest, no matter where I was, a house, apartment, a hotel, whatever, like this anxiety, this panic, this fear, this worry. Um, I would check the door to make sure it was locked, the front door, any door in the apartment, 
uh, to make sure that it was locked like dozens of times obsessively just to check. I, I don't think I've ever told anyone this before, but like now that this isn't a problem, this seems absolutely silly. So I'm, I'm going to have, I haven't even like told my parents this before. I would like take like chairs and like suitcases and heavy items and push them up against the door before I went to bed so that like nobody could get in. Um, I can't tell you b before working with Daryl the last time that I slept with a door open, you know, like, like this was really affecting my quality of life. And in fact, it actually greatly affected uh, my relationship with my ex. I ended up moving into his house for about three months and the fear that it caused me was like such a point of contention for us. And, um, you know, when I moved in, I got the whole entire house outfitted with like a top of the line alarm system. I had cameras all over the exterior of the house that would, I could monitor on my cell phone and on another monitor in the home. And I had panic buttons in the house. I slept next to a panic button and also had one on my desk so that God forbid, something were to happen, someone was to break in, someone was to come and try and attack me. I felt some fear for my safety. I could press the button and have the cops be there within a matter of minutes. So like you can see how this really affected my life. And it was like embarrassing because like I'm a strong independent woman and I'm a business owner and I have lived by myself for a long time. And this was like my dirty little secret. I didn't want like anyone to know, you know? And so um, I went to Dara's office because I live near him. I think he works with people virtually too, but I went to his office and um, he spent some time with me. And I don't know how to explain this process with you except to say it like this. So Daryl helps for you to go within yourself and, and really take a look at the situations that caused that 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 cause your fear or your panic, your anxiety, or your frustrations or your challenges or whatever it is, and look at it in a different way, so that it doesn't seem so scary and doesn't seem uh, so painful, so that you can look at it and all of that anxiety and fear and worry that you have had because of that thing that happened or those things that happened just melts away. And he does it in a way where it feels really safe. You know, like like I've mentioned a couple times in this video, like I wouldn't really talk about these things with people and now I can talk about it because it's like gone, you know? Like I don't have these fears anymore and it just seems silly. But like I, I, it was hard for me to talk about. So like this idea of having to go to his office and like having to share these like deep personal experiences with him was like terrifying to me. I almost canceled on him actually. And, uh, and I, I didn't want to be that girl that cancels. Like I like to be a woman of my word, you know? So I went and I was like, you know, I was just like scared to even have to tell him like all these things that I went through. But but the experience was done in a way where it was really all kept in here. Like he just guided me through the process of going through those experiences in my own mind. That's the only way I know how to explain it. Um, I felt very safe with him. Um, I still feel very safe with him. Um, and I think everyone that I know that knows him would say that they feel very safe with him. And I think that's important. Um, if you're gonna, you know, work with someone to, to help you overcome a fear or something like this, right? And so now let me share with you how my life has changed since, okay? So, so right away, um, the next, like the next morning I woke up and I realized that I didn't check the door obsessively to make sure it was locked dozens of times. I checked it once, which I think is you know, like a totally reasonable thing to do. I checked it once. I, um, I slept with the door open to my bedroom, which I would never do before. And I didn't have that like anxiety feeling in my chest. And I slept really well. Like I slept like the whole night through. I was like, this is great. And then like two days la later, I, uh, left to go to Vancouver uh, for work. I was there for seven days. I stayed in several hotels while I was there. And I noticed that, again, that anxiety feeling was not there. 
I only checked the door once to make sure it was locked before I went to bed. I didn't push up my suitcase or chairs in front of the door as like a barricade or a barrier uh, to feel more safe. Um, and it was an awesome feeling. Like as I would pass someone in the hallway, especially a man in the hallway, like going to my room or whatever, like I felt fine. I would say hi, hi, you know, like, how are you? You know, and I wouldn't do that before. I'd like look down at the ground or just like go like straight, at, like just look straight ahead, like and not even like acknowledge this person because I was so terrified. And uh, then from there, I went to LA and I stayed in a house in LA. And um, so the person I was staying with before I went to bed uh, the first night, I said, Did you lock the doors? Before? Did you lock the doors? And they said yes, and I didn't check them. I didn't feel the need to check it. You know, like I just trusted them that they locked the doors. And uh, I had that anxiety feeling was gone. I slept throughout the night. And I woke up in the morning literally laughing. And this person I was staying with was like, why are you laughing? And I was like, like, I, I explained to them like the situation. I explained to them what I'm explaining to you. And I'm like, this all just seems so silly now. You know, like this fear that I had just seems so silly that I had lived with this for so long. And like, I just feel great. And uh, I'm like, just so thankful. I'm so thankful that uh, that Daryl helped me. And he he continued to, to push me to get the help. And um, I wanted to film this video to share my experiences so that if you're watching this and you're going through something where you're considering getting help for it, you know that Daryl's a great resource for you. You know, that video that I saw of someone else that I knew, you know, was one of the things that really persuaded me to, to finally get the help that I needed. And if I hadn't, I would still feel how I felt beforehand, you know? And that was a sucky feeling, and I shouldn't have to live that way, and now I don't have to live that way. So thank you, Daryl, for your help. I, uh, I so appreciate it. I'm so grateful, and um, like I'm like excited now. It's, it's like kind of like a new life in a way. You know, I don't have to have this dirty little secret anymore. It's not a secret because now everybody who watches this video uh, is going to know. <laughs> And that's okay. So thank you, Daryl. And uh, again, my name is Mara Glazer, and this is my experience working uh, with Daryl Hill. I'm so glad that I did. All right. You have a great day. Bye for now.